Akida brain chip. While filmmakers are making action movies about robots enslaving the human race, leading companies are developing new technologies that, in the near future, could make life a lot easier for all of us. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of them, the Akida brain chip chip. Watch this video to the end to find out how artificial intelligence from sunny California can help modern medicine, and why many scientists have high hopes for this technology. The Akita Brain Chip is a unique system that offers tremendous opportunities for almost every developer. According to calculations by analysts in Silicon Valley, already by 2030, engineers with its help can get an unprecedented result to create more than 100,000 robots whose intellectual development will be comparable to the average human, as well as develop new defense and security systems. But that's just the beginning. In practice, the effectiveness of Brainchip's new Akita chip will be far greater than imagined. Let's look at the technology itself at work under the microscope. What is the Akita Brainchip? If you compare all technology to the planet Earth, Akita Brainchip will be the very foundation, the core, thanks to which the developers and engineers can create almost any system. Some of the major ones include autopiloted ships and cars. Their efficiency will be many times greater than the world-famous Tesla cars, and their capabilities will not be limited to the standard functions of today. In the not-too-distant future, there could be air parking for flying cars, and even special tunnels to move them. The good news for the fans of high-tech solutions will be that the futuristic beginning of all the favorite movies in the near future can become quite a reality. The systems Smart House, Smart City, and Smart Transport, they will adjust and improve the security of the already known developments on which the whole Europe and America are making bets. Any of them will help change the idea of security in private or public areas, as well as raise the level of comfort with the best extensions. You can find developments such as remote control, object, sound and odor detectors, security cameras with built-in indicators, robotics, and more. Any of these developments will run on a fundamentally new artificial intelligence technology, opening up a wide range of additional possibilities, from on-chip learning to manually prescribing your own algorithm. It can be compared to the workings of the human brain, in which the Akita brain chip performs the function of storing and transmitting neural signals. In fact, Akita brain chip is an alternative to the main computing organ responsible for information storage and transfer, but it works in a slightly different way. By mimicking the work of the brain, the system only performs analysis, representing something more than just an automated chip to operate the system. It can be said that this is a groundbreaking development that can save large companies up to $300,000 per year. What to expect from development in the future? I thought about this question and did a little research of my own. According to Brainchip's founder himself, Peter van der Meeg, 28 generation chips made in Taiwan are already awaiting to be put into practice. The company is now actively inviting potential buyers and partners to join the development of artificial intelligence-based technologies in order to carry out a total modernization of all current systems. In the long run, this could help develop smart medical equipment that could replace the doctor during major surgeries and even take care of patient rehabilitation. In fact, the technology has almost limitless possibilities for use, and hundreds of thousands of people are already riveted to it. Much of this popularity is due to the chip's ability to perform highly efficient calculations with minimal energy expenditure. According to Brainchip itself, the reduced latency of the system enables faster response times and higher energy efficiency of the system. The latter factor can have a favorable impact not only on financial costs, but also on the country's ecology. In the future, it will help improve the environment by 18% with mass integration. What do you think? Does this kind of technology have a future, and how quickly will it be introduced into mass production? Share your opinion in the comments below the video.